Vladimir Putin secretly hides some of his vast wealth in a Russian bank. Called Rossiya Bank, it's been connected to Putin's suspected offshore accounts as well as his network of oligarchs. How Rossiya Bank bought Putin a resort Rossiya Bank was founded in 1990 with Communist Party funds. Currently, its biggest shareholder is Yuri Kovalchuk, one of Putin's closest allies. When Putin became president, Rossiya Bank's balance sheet suddenly exploded with billions of dollars flowing into its accounts. The White House alleges that the bank belongs to Putin and has called Kovalchuk Putin's personal banker. The Panama Papers revealed that Kovalchuk and Rossiya Bank transferred at least $1 billion to a specially created offshore company that helped build a private ski resort beloved by Putin. It worked like this. First, Rossiya Bank sent instructions to Swiss lawyers from Dietrich Baumgartner and partners in Zurich so that they could act as confidential intermediaries in the creation of offshore companies. They then passed these instructions on to Panamanian law firm Mossack Fonseca. From there, the law firm started setting up offshore firms, including one entity called Sandalwood Continental in the British Virgin Islands. Sandalwood was owned by another of Putin's longtime friends, Sergei Roldugin. He also owns a 3.2% stake in Rossiya Bank. Sandalwood was able to get unsecured loans from the Russian Commercial Bank of Cyprus, extending $650 million in credit. Between 2009 and 2012, Sandalwood received more than $1 billion in loans from state banks and offshore companies. Sandalwood then ended up lending $11.3 million to a company called Ozon LLC, in which Yuri Kovalchuk owns a 25% share. Ozon owns the Agora Resort, where Putin's daughter was married in 2013. Using the bank as a personal cash box the money Rossiya Bank obtained for its rich benefactors was used on more than just the resort. Some of the cash returned to Russia at extremely high interest rates, with the profits siphoned off to secret Swiss bank accounts. Sandalwood also purchased a $6 million yacht, and it's reported that Putin's inner circle received cheap loans with interest rates as low as 1%. Around 2012, Putin and his cronies seemed to become spooked for unknown reasons, and Sandalwood was closed down but its operations were simply switched to another offshore entity also registered in the British Virgin Islands, called OVE Financial Corp. It appears that many of Putin's associates hold or previously held shares in the Rossiya Bank, including Gennady Timchenko, Alexei Mordashov, Nikolai Shamilov, Dmitry Gorolov, and Putin's alleged mistress, Svetlana Krivonogik. Even though Putin has complained about wealthy Russians hiding their money offshore, it seems like that's exactly what the president has been doing to conceal his own wealth. The world is onto him, but so far Rossiya Bank appears to have been a successful method to store and spend his money. Like and subscribe for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching.